Hello everyone, welcome to Harvest Kids. In this lesson we're going to hear about someone called Jeremiah, who was one of God's prophets, who spoke to the people of Judah. So we're going to hear Emma tell the story for our younger ones, and then we're going to watch the video to learn more about this. Enjoy! Hi boys and girls, today I'm going to tell you a story from the Bible. Today's story is all about a man called Jeremiah. God said to Jeremiah, before you were born, I chose you to tell people my words. God said to Jeremiah, don't be afraid, I am with you. Now, God's people had stopped loving God. They chose to worship other things instead of God. They didn't want to listen to God's message that Jer Jeremiah had to tell them. They covered their ears. They didn't want to listen. Jeremiah's job was very hard, but God told him that he was with him. God's plan was to change the people's hearts so that they would want to love and obey God. God was going to make a way to forgive their people for all the wrong choices that they make. That's why he sent Jesus. Today's story tells us that Jeremiah was a prophet. His job was to tell the people what God wanted them to hear. His job was to give the people God's message. God made a new promise to forgive his people. God sent Jesus to forgive his people forever. Thanks for listening, boys and girls. When Josiah was the king of Judah, God called a priest named Jeremiah to be a prophet. God told Jeremiah, I knew you before I made you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I chose you to do very special things. I chose you to be a prophet to the nations. Oh no, God, Jeremiah said. I don't know how to speak in front of other people. I am just a boy, only a youth. Don't say that, God replied. You will go where I send you and say what I tell you to say. I am with you. I will protect you. For many years, Jeremiah spoke God's message to the people of Judah. He reminded them that God had made a covenant with them. If they obeyed him, he would bless them. But the people did not obey. Now God had to punish their sin. God said the people would lose their land, their wealth, and their freedom. Jeremiah explained that people's hearts fool them into thinking they are better than they actually are. They trick people into wanting things or doing things that God does not want for them. The people did not want to listen to Jeremiah and Jeremiah was sad. He warned them that God's punishment was coming, but he also said that God had a plan to change his people's hearts. God promised a new and better covenant so the people could be saved from their sins. God would write his law on people's hearts. He would give his people power to obey his commands. God said, I will forgive their wrongdoing and never again remember their sin. God told Jeremiah to write God's message on a scroll. So Jeremiah spoke God's words and his friend Baruch wrote the words on a scroll. Baruch read from the scroll so that all the people heard God's words. He warned that the king of Babylon would come and destroy Judah. King Jehoiakim sent one of his officials to get the scroll. As the official read the scroll, King Jehoiakim cut off each part of the scroll and threw it into the fire. He did this until the entire scroll was burned up. So God told Jeremiah to write another scroll with the same words as the first scroll. Jeremiah told the king, God is going to punish you, your family, and your leaders for doing wrong things. God warned you this disaster will come to Judah. You did not listen. Jeremiah told about a day when God would forgive sin and change people's hearts. 
Jesus made these words come true. God forgives our sin through his son, Jesus. He changes us and gives us power through his spirit to obey his commands. Isn't it amazing that God sent Jeremiah to help the people of Judah realize what they were like, but also to tell them that there was hope, that God could change them, that there was a plan, and that plan was Jesus. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you that you know our hearts. You know that our hearts are sometimes wrong, that they can easily stray away from loving you as much as we should. But I thank you that you love us, you know our weaknesses, and you made a way in Jesus that we could be with you, that we could know you, that you, you could be our Father, and that we could be with you one day in heaven. We're so thankful for this. So help us to celebrate this today. In Jesus' name, Amen.